we are asked to find the area of the polygon, which because it has five sides, is a pentagon. There is no single formula that we can use to find this area, and therefore, we will decompose this area in order to find the total area. Which means, if we take the polygon, and let's say we cut it into two parts here, notice how now we have a rectangle and a triangle that make up the pentagon. Which means the total area is equal to the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. And because the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, and the area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height, the total area, or the area of the pentagon, is equal to the area of the rectangle, which is length times width, plus the area of the triangle, which is one half base times height. Going back over to the figure, focusing on the rectangle, the length is 14 units, and the width is seven units, now looking at the triangle, the base would be the same length as the opposite side, which is seven units. So the base of the triangle is seven units, and the height is four units. And therefore the area of the pentagon is equal to length times width of the rectangle is 14 units times seven units, plus the area of the triangle, which is one half, times the base of seven units, times the height of four units. And now simplifying, 14 times seven equals 98, plus, well seven times four is equal to 28, one half times 28 is equal to 14. The area is equal to 98 plus 14 square units, and 98 plus 14 equals 112. The area is 112 square units. Looking below, we are not asked to enter units, we only enter 112. I hope you found this helpful.